Uh, in this video, I'm going to try to go over how I did this uh, double exposure effect. Uh, but by the end, you might be scratching your head uh, as I'm kind of scratching my head because it's really the long story short is it's really just a lot of hard work. And this is uh, really similar to that last uh, alternative to mask or whatever that video with the foam that I did was. Um, so anyway, uh, let's get into it. I'm going to launch Stipple. new drawing and I'm going to pick the woods to start. I'm going to leave my settings at default and start drawing. Uh, I'm going to resize the woods. About like that. Uh, and then I'm going to, I'm going to go to the mask and I'm going to load in my picture of Neil from Clutch. I'm going to resize this too. I'm going to assume that if you're watching this, you already understand the resize stuff. Um, okay, so if we look at this picture of Neil, we've got this very crisp white background, and we can use this to our advantage in the mask itself because the, uh, almost all the face contrasts against that white. So when we go to our threshold, um, and I'll, I'll just draw a little bit to show you what I'm talking about. Um, the threshold defaults like this for the mask, that is, the mask threshold defaults at, at about, I don't know, 90%. And that'll only allow, uh, only allow us to draw in the darkest spots. So only in like the beard, the mustache, that area is getting drawn in. Uh, but if we lower this, now say we lowered it all the way to the left, then we'd be able to draw over the whole thing because it's not even cutting anything off. But if we move this slider to the right a little bit, say about here, we'll cut off let's move it a little bit more. All right, you'll see that the where where put that uh, that threshold cut off is uh, right on Neil's skin tone. So it's though it's as though we can draw and we won't be getting any of the, uh, the dark spots in the light spots in the image. And this is important for that effect because we're basically trying to mask out the woods into Neil's face. Now uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start over because uh, I want I was just kind of demonstrating how the, the threshold works. I'm going to turn the opacity and the hardness down. Well, I'll turn the opacity about there and the hardness at about half. Um, I'm going to make the dots smaller, increase the... Uh, I uh, increased the brush size and the density a little bit. Uh, and y you're not going to be able to follow along completely because this is pretty tricky to get this to work exactly right. So it's not going to work the same on your image. Um, I'm going to click off auto threshold. I'm going to pull this to about there. Uh, let's see how that works. All right, that's putting down a lot of dark, and that's what we want because we want to start out with just a lot, a lot of dark spots to work with. And you can see the woods start to show up in his face. Now here's a little trick that I don't often do, or not often in the videos anyway. Let's see, let's try to hide Neil. All right, so we see that the uh, that that the the woods are showing up pretty good inside this face right now. Uh, one thing you can do. All right, so probably if you've used this for a little while, you wonder why you can unlock this. Uh, if you unlock this and you move your your max dot size and you slide it up the grayscale, basically it's saying that anything uh, anything that gets to this point gets the max dot size. So basically it makes, uh, it makes things that are, that were lighter in the, in the picture show up darker than, than they normally would. A little hard to explain. All right. So we're getting that in pretty dark. Um, try to get that some more. Okay. That's cool. That's good. All right, so now that we got the woods down, what we need to do is we need to get more of Neil's face in there. So what I'm gonna do 
is uh, on the draw image. I'm going to press that triangle three squares button so I can get the uh, so I can save that image for later. And then I'm going to go over to the mask and I'm going to press that button too so I can push that image into the gallery. I'm going to turn the mask off for now and then I'm going to put Neil's face into our draw image. So now I'm going to uh, I'm going to click this the A on. I'll click the the lock back on and uh, let's see all right now I'm gonna use clear for this you could use a white dot if you wanted the backgrounds white so you could use a white dot and not use this clear method I like to use the clear clear method because then I can change the background after the fact um, but anyway what we're gonna be doing is uh, we're gonna start to delete that the woods that we drew we're going to start to to redraw in clear dots the highlights of Neil's face. So basically breaking Neil's face out of that congestion of woods. And uh, you'll see that this his beard starts to look real cool. Because he's got a lot of detail in that. He's got a lot of detail in his beard. How'd you get the detail in your beard, Neil? Um... All right, so now, so now we've we've broken the white out a little bit, but now we've lost a lot of the woods also. But before we go on, I'm gonna switch back to dark, and I'm gonna keep it in uh keep the A on, take clear off, and now we'll just be back to normal black dots. And I'm gonna just draw in some of the dark spots on Neil's face just to get. Uh, just to get them, in the image a little bit more. All right, so now we we kind of have eh, a hint of the woods, but mostly just this guy's face. Um, so from here, we're gonna uh, let's push the uh, the woods picture back into the draw. We'll leave the mask off, and we'll flip to the uh, we'll flip to auto, or I mean we'll flip to the white side. We'll leave it on auto. Um, I'll push the min dot size a little bit up when you're dealing with the uh, the eraser dot. Sometimes that's a cool trick to use. Um, and yeah, let's switch the mode back to clear. All right. All right. So now, oh, that's nice. You see the the uh, that the, that tree line just start to appear. Because now we're just erasing the uh, the highlights of our tree image. So now down here we we got that going. That that looks pretty good. All right, and then uh, let's flip back. We'll leave the A on. We're gonna flip back to draw on the black. Um, and then we're going to go to normal. Now we're going to get some more of the woods on there. Uh, let's get that mask back on. I just undid what I did. Um, and I'm going to put the mask on. I forgot about that because we don't want to. Oh, I must have screwed with that a little bit. Anyway, we want the mask on so we don't end up drawing the uh, the bushes in the in the white spot, the intentional white spots of the image. Okay, so here we go. Now we're getting the uh, we're getting the woods in there. Now the the image is taking effect. Now, I definitely can say that this doesn't look as good as the uh, the one that I showed you as an example. I spent quite a bit of time on that one, though. And I'm just trying to do this one fast for you guys. Uh, let's take the A off. Do that thing again.
All right. I mean, that's kind of it. Maybe to touch it up at the end, we could uh, go back to to the Neil image. Take the clear off. You'll notice it's a lot of juggling. And uh, let's do that trick. Take that off. Uh, so the min dot's at zero. Undo my last two moves. Uh, all right. And then just get this kind of a little bit solidified on there. Now we got Neil. Looks kind of good. Not as good as the original. Let's go back to that one. Yeah, that one looks better. But uh, yeah, so that's so long story short. So it's kind of just a lot of it's a lot of playing. It's a lot of hard work. Uh, not hard work, but it's a lot of uh, just messing around, putting one one image on. Sometimes detach it. You know, sometimes taking auto off and moving the sliders around just to highlight the stuff that you want. Um, you're not always going to get lucky and have an image like this. But even this image isn't all that great because Neil's face is really light on the uh, the white background. There's just enough contrast for for that mask to work. If it doesn't work, you can always do stuff like uh like for instance, let's say that we we bypass um the mask on Neil uh the mask on those woods. So then we ended up uh, actually let's save that one just for the sake of it. Um. So say when we drew our first image, we ended up with a bunch of stuff in the in the the side that we didn't want. Although that that probably looks even better. That looks pretty cool actually. But anyway, say we had done that, we can always uh, after the fact we can use this eraser tool. And remember, the eraser tool is defined by the brush size, but it's also the opacity and the hardness affect it. So we can always just kind of delete the stuff we don't want. Uh, whoops, drop the pen. Um, we can do stuff like that and then, and then go back in and, and, uh, like touch it up after the fact. So say we had drawn it like this and then we can go back to the dots and let's get Neil in that, in there and just draw him back on. I mean, this is in the event that your image doesn't work that well. But you can always touch up the edges after you've erased and just kind of fix it up. Well, uh, let's see, 13 minutes. Yeah, I guess that kind of wraps it up. Um, again, I use the clear dots. If the clear dots are confusing, the reason I use that is because now we can switch the background. If I'd used white dots, we would just, we wouldn't be able to switch that background color without seeing those, seeing those, uh, white dots. Um, all right. You have any questions? Just let me know. Thanks for watching.